As a cop, I lost my callers to legal loopholes, but I believe in the system. As a DA, I lost my cases to crooked lawyers, but I believed in the system. As a judge, my hands were bound by the letter of the law, but I believed in the system. Until it took my life away. And then I stopped believing in the system and started believing in justice. like these shoes, man? You ought to, man. You paid for them. Paid for these, too. <coughs> but now you stop paying. You owe me for three of these, fool. No, no, that settles the old tab. You want to start a new one, you pay in advance. Get out of my face. I'd expect to see you. But you become a customer. Yo, this is a joke. Which genius from the public defender's office are we waiting for this time? My apologies to the court, Your Honor. Ms. Forbes, I understand you're new to our district, and a certain amount of settling in is required. But I prefer if you did it on your own time, not the taxpayers. Certainly, Your Honor. In fact, I think I can get us all out of here fairly quickly today. How refreshing. Well. Mr. Horton, that sounds like a challenge to me. You may begin with the statement of charges. The state charges Rudy Cantos with the murder of one Bernardo Lomas. As the court already knows, Mr. Cantos is an ex-convict, a two-time guest of the state and of this court. The very fact that he's present here today is proof of his failure to rehabilitate, his failure to deviate from his criminal life, a failure which is now responsible for the loss of a life. I present court's evidence A501, found in the pocket of the victim and stained with his own blood. Your Honor will note the handwriting inside the matchbook states the date and time of the murder and a phone number. The phone number of Rudy Cantos. Your Honor, the state contends this crime was premeditated, that Rudy Cantos lured Bernardo Lomas into meeting him at a prearranged location in time for the sole purpose of robbing and killing him. The state asks permission to try Rudy Cantos on the charge of murder in the first degree. Your Honor, at this time I would like to remind the court of legal precedent D-258-7535. Since my memory of this legal precedent, D-258-7535. 35, Your Honor. 35, thank you very much. Since uh, my memory of this legal precedent seems to have escaped me for the moment, Defense can uh, reacquaint uh, the court. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Defense would submit the legal precedent set by King versus the State, October 15, 1952, and I quote, in the criminal prosecution of the charge of murder one, evidence submitted must be absolute in its findings in the guilt of the accused. Well, since the only real evidence against my client is a matchbook, and since handwriting analysis cannot be proven as absolute or positive in its identification, then the guilt of my client must be substantiated through additional evidence. Does the state possess additional evidence? <clears throat> Not at this time, Your Honor. Then the state has no case against my client. The court agrees. Case is dismissed due to lack of evidence. It's kind of nice to see some lawyers do their homework, isn't it, Mr. Horn? It's my job. Yo, mind. Yeah, I don't mind, move. Go ahead. Play as loud as you want. You move. How the hell can I concentrate with him making all that noise? Why don't you try checkers, Moon? Chess doesn't look like it's your speed. Are these games popular in America? Oh, yeah, very. It's a lot easier than reading a book. Pins on the book. My time's over. Oh, so what is it now? Nap time? No, it's show and tell. I'm gonna show you this file, tell you what to do. I ain't funny, man. You know this guy, Nick. You got a pretty good memory, Moon. It's Rudy Cantos. Used to be my main informant when I was a cop. Used to be a dealer, user, every way, any way. I thought he went clean. Yeah, so did I. Rudy and I worked real hard in his rehabilitation. As a matter of fact, I put him through a program personally. Yesterday, Rudy came through my courtroom. Accused of a drug murder. Sounds like good old Rudy didn't take too well the straight life. You know, that's just it, he did. I don't know, I just find it hard to believe that he would fall back into that life so easily. I've seen a hundred junkies try and fail. Rudy did it. You believe he was set up? You know, that's what it smells like to me. It just feels like the evidence was planted. Would have worked, too, if he didn't have such a good PD. 
Great. The boy's in good hands. So, you get the weekend off, right? Wrong. I want to keep an eye on. If somebody is running drugs and trying to look for a fall guy, I want to know who it is. Well, I see you're settling in. This was the quietest place I could find to work. You must have your hands full setting up your office. I'm trying, but since yesterday, they've doubled my caseload. They probably saw you in action. I was just trying to do my job. The rights of the accused are any public defender's first priority. You know, most young PDs have a very hard time with that, one point or another. I guess I've been lucky so far. No crisis of conscience? Not in the courtroom. How about you? Oh, I'm afraid it comes with experience. Look, I better check in with the office. I have a big case tomorrow. What do you have? Judge Freilich? Freilich. Oh, I hear he eats PDs for breakfast. I better let you get back to work. Only if we can continue this over dinner tonight. I don't really know anyone here, and I could use the company. You're on. Listen, you better get going. Freilich is the type of guy who comes after people. Great. Not you, too. What is that supposed to mean? Every man in the building is talking about Christina Forbes. She's been in town two days, and the gossip has already started. Of course. This is a small building. Five of your colleagues have already hit on her. You seem to be the only one having any success. Sarah, I do not hit on public defenders. We are simply going out to dinner as friends. That's all. Do you want to know what I've heard? Do I have a choice? No. This is Miss Forbes' fourth reassignment in five years in four different states. In 86, she was in Detroit, 88 in Houston. Uh-huh. So, she likes to travel. She doesn't like to set down roots. I respect that. She's never even made noises about moving up from the public defender's office. No, Tara, not all lawyers are ambitious politicians. And not all judges are as innocent as they seem. Guys, this place is in dire need of a slim fast concession stand. We're not here to make friends. We're here to look for contest. As long as we ain't here to get killed. Hi. Love your decor. Yo, what is this? There's a flea circus going on in my beer. Look at this. Well, you better believe I'm going to send it back. Yo, man, what's wrong with you? There, there's, a, there's some flies doing the backstroke of my beard. What's up? Um, I hate to be a dick, but... Thank you. What? Wait, you want me to drink it? Yes, very good. Thank you. Yes, that, that did the trick. Thank you very much. So what about the service with the smile, huh? Huh? To be wrong, if I brought some brothers down here to straighten you people out, now wouldn't I? Shh. Look, there are scandals. I'm going to go back to the van. Make sure Bruno's has got the recorder working. You stay here in case Cantus comes back, okay? Oh, great. I just love to. Didn't you? 
That must be headquarters. Yup, yup. See, that's FBI man guy keeping constant contact with HQ. See, that's how it is when you're in the FBI like me. FBI. It's a trip, man. Yo, what's up, Mr. President? <laughs> the two of us, President, gotta go, man. Yo, I'm gonna be back, all right? All right? All right then. Wish y'all peace, love. Anybody want to sing Ebony and Ivory? You okay? I'm getting thrown through windows, and I bet you Nick's having dinner with a beautiful girl. You ever thought about going into private practice? No, never. I know that must seem strange these days. I mean, half of my classmates either went into business or entertainment law. Well, I find that admirable. We need more public defenders. But you must find it rewarding. Well, it used to be just a job. And now it's become my whole life. You be careful, counselor. You're starting to sound like me. No, I like it that way. It's not a bad life. Hey, you know, it doesn't leave you much time for uh, anything else, family, things like that. Look, I'm sorry. It's really, it's none of my business. No, 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 no. no you're right. It's true. I mean, this job takes everything. Everything you've got. Yeah, I know what you mean. Listen, if it's worth anything, you're very good at it. Thank you. Well, I've learned how to deal with a system. What do you think about justice? I'll take it when I can get it. killed on us before we had time to do anything. Should've talked to him myself. Nikki, they found him with cash and drugs on him. Oh, no, Moon, I'm not buying it, all right? As far as I'm concerned, that's two setups in a row. Maybe we have our man in Mr. Martinez. Now, look, this guy is a high level dealer for the downtown area. We take this whole conversation in the alley. He was trying to recruit Rudy into his crew. Was Rudy buying it? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He said no? But they found him with drugs and cash anyway? This isn't that enough. Well, you know, as far as the police are concerned, Rudy is just another drug crime. But now I talked to a couple of friends in ballistics. I had them check out the bullets they pulled out of Bernie and Rudy's body. They matched. They were marked. Marked with what? A cross. Some kind of gang working. You think Martinez killed Rudy just for saying no? It would make sense. Gangs often mark their bullets. Now listen, if Martinez is the connection between the two murders, we need some kind of confirmation on this. We could set up a buy, infiltrate his crew. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. We can put on a little red cape, too, and fly down south for the winter. Yo, Nick, let me ask you something. Do you think there's anything safe for the cops to handle now? Listen to the cops. Rudy is just a pencil mark on a dead junkies list. That's it. That's a list I'd like to stay off of. Thank you very much. Gibbs, have I ever let you down, ever? 
going to provide. Christina Forbes is here to see you. Send her in. I hope you don't mind, but I've just been handed a case and there's a prior I'd like to get some background on. It was your sentence. Sure, no, anything I can do, please, have a seat. Here are the files of Rudy Lomas and Rudy Cantos. You all right? I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Doing some follow-up on the Lomas and Cantos cases? Yeah, Rudy Cantos was a friend of mine. I knew him from my days as a cop. You were a cop? For six years. <laughs> you still want to talk to me? I thought the police closed those cases. No. No, I thought they might need a little bit of help. Uh, there may be a connection between the deaths. A dealer named uh, Martinez. Martinez. Yeah, I think I've heard of him. Well, I wouldn't be too surprised. You probably came across him on your case history somewhere. Maybe holding some secrets for two years. Never heard of a judge doing off hours police work. Bad habit. I'm interested in the truth. Aren't we all? Let me tell you both about my day. I'm having trouble with some loose ends. Bobby, don't play with your food. There's this judge. He seems to be getting in the way of my job. I'm just trying to make a point. I mean, one minute they're free and the next minute they're out killing someone else. Am I right, Tom? I love you too, honey. Now, everyone eat up. Mommy has to go out tonight and tie up these loose ends. It's a great outfit. You look like a reject from New Jack City. But what do you expect? I work for a movie company, man. I Nicky, we're ready on this end. Okay, Martinez is at the end of the alley. Listen, when this deal goes down, we'll move in, see if we can get some answers off this guy, all right? He makes it sound so easy. right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to me. Didn't take the papers very long. Honest. You think we're whacking out bad guys? 
whole block is letting his imagination run wild. Or there is another vigilante in the city. Yeah, a guy who shoots first and asks questions later. Either way, we get the blame. That's right. That's why we have to clean up this mess ourselves. The last thing we need is heat coming down on us. Well, how are we supposed to deal with this psycho anyway? Research. Police reports. Analysis. Research. Police reports. Analysis. You. What are you going to do? I'm going to give everybody gold stars if they do their job really well. How many more before they get my point? This whole system needs an overhaul. Am I right, Tommy? Close to me here, Tom. I can feel it. I've never had so many loose ends before. We even made the papers. I appreciate your support, Tom. You know how difficult this has been. <gasps> We've been through worse times before I know it. I know, I told we'll move on soon. It's dangerous here. I'm so sorry. Did you know if you puncture a hole in some guy's stomach after you kill him, his body won't float to the top of the river? Well, thanks for the tip. Now I know what to do with your body. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, you guys. We're racing the psycho's internal alarm clock. Now, if it goes off, Another body can turn up real quick. And Nick, why don't we just get a psychic? I mean, it says in the book that they can see into the minds of the killer and then predict who the next victim will be. I predict there is going to be a murder in here within five minutes if you don't shut up and let me do my work. Got it. Got what? I ran a comparison of similar crimes all across the country. Nicky gave me some numbers to check on. Hey, Nick, you better see this. Now, either this guy belongs to a club or he travels a lot. See, Los Angeles, 1985, Detroit, 86, Houston, 88. All the same crime. Murder by gunshot, 44 caliber bullet, all marked with the cross on top. And all the victims were ex-cons? Oh, this guy's got a vendetta. The Mr. Rose looked like a birthday card. Nick, what is it? It's just something that uh, Tara said to me about a new public defender we have. Her name is Christina Forbes. She was in Detroit and Houston during those years. What's your connection? Miss Forbes was Rudy Cantos' public defender. Uh -oh. This particular crime seems to be following Miss Forbes. Yeah. But why wouldn't she say something when she read it in the newspapers? Well, the newspaper didn't print the part about the bullets matching, so as far as she knows, there's no connection. Yeah, but Nikki, if she was in Houston and Detroit at the same time, she might be able to help us with some, some information. Yeah, that should be easy to get. You can just ask her. No, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. She's already a little suspicious why I have Loomis's and Cantos's files in my office. I don't want her thinking that I'm starting some kind of private investigation. Perhaps she will talk to someone else. Maybe a reporter. I could claim I'm doing a story on the murders. Oh, I hate to do that. I mean, number one, she's very close to me. Number two, this killer is following her. I don't want to put her in any kind of danger. I'll be careful and quick. We'll just find out if this guy is a former client of hers. Make the call, set it up. Listen, get her some good credentials. Forbes is no idiot. I must say, I was surprised by your call. I didn't know the press was conducting its own investigation. Oh, no, it's hardly an investigation. I'm just trying to assemble a profile. I needed an expert's point of view. I'm hardly an expert on vigilantism. I believe these murders are the work of a vigilante? No, 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 not me personally. No, I, I hear things, you know, these stupid theories around the office. These marked bullets have everyone talking. Marked bullets? The police didn't mention anything about marked bullets. How do you know that? I have a friend in the department. Did your friend 
mentioned that there have been similar crimes all across the country during the last four years. I see you've done your research. You've traveled quite a bit in your career, haven't you? I go where I'm needed. It must be hard. Defending people you sometimes know are guilty. I'm coping. Look, is there anything else you'd like to ask me about the Cantos case? Oh, I think I have all I need. Great. Good luck with your story. She knew about marked bullets. I was coming to tell you she must have followed me. All right, well, does she know that you know? No, she was wearing a mask. In her mind, I cannot identify her. All right, come on, let's go upstairs. Come on. mentioned the marked bullets, I realized she knew more than she was saying. The rest was easy to figure out. How can you be so sure? She gave it away. Her body, her eyes. None of which is admissible in court. This blew me away, guys. I mean, a public defender killing her own clients? Yeah, why is she doing this? There's a reason. There's always a reason. It's probably something out of her past. Fine. It just makes sense. It just makes sense that we have that much in common as well. Is Miss Forbes in today? No, she was doing your court this afternoon, but she called in sick. Why? Uh, no reason. No reason. Listen, Tara. Could you get me a copy of her file? It should be on record in the PD's office. Trying to find things out behind her back? That isn't fair play, is it, Nick? Well, in this case, I can use all the help I can get. Okay. Seven years ago, Christina Forbes defended a serial killer by the name of Brad Blake. He's also known as the Altar Boy. Now, he marked his bullets with the sign of the cross before he blew his victim's brains out. She got him off. How? Well, it was a really very brilliant defense. Came down to a technicality. She played it. Got the DA napping. I can guess where this is going. Uh, well, as a thank you, Brad went right out, did the exact same thing again. Less than 36 hours after he was released, broke into the Forbes home, blew away her husband and her son. Christina disappeared for two years, turned up in L.A. Well, that makes sense. And we know where she went from there, Detroit, Houston, and now here. Only here, something went wrong. Yeah, she ran into us. You know, she's got to be feeling trapped, cornered. This uh, quest for revenge, this chance to try to wipe away her guilt. It's got to be tearing her apart. How do you know that? I've been there. I almost turned into what she is. It's kind of like looking into a, a twisted mirror. I don't like what I see. You're far from what she is. 
What she is, is loose. Now, how the hell are we going to nail her? She's getting ready to fly, so we're going to have to move before she does. We're going to give her one for the road. Forbes for the defense. I move for mistrial. Brad Blake must be released. Christina Forbes for the defense. What, just because I'm black, I got to play the criminal all the time? You know, you you are worse than primetime TV. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? She has seen Maria. She knows me. I don't think she's going to buy Moon as a dangerous low-life drug dealer. Why not? He could be dealing in old people drugs. He could be doing something like bootleg preparation H. I never touched this stuff. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Listen up. I want to go over this one more time. Christina Forbes is expecting to meet you in the same bar that Cantos met Martinez. I arranged it that yours is the first file she pulls. As far as she knows, you're another accused criminal. Yeah, I put you down for extortion, theft, dealing drugs to minors, uh, you know, a murder rap. I did all that and I'm still walking around? Hey, criminals like you put up a quick bail. Now listen, you gotta bait her enough to come after you like she did Loomis and Cantos. You have to make her hate you. In other words, just be yourself. <laughs> oh, that, that's almost funny. Now, can you please go over where you saved my butt? Okay, okay, listen. I happen to know for a fact but the bar is scheduled for a raid tonight. Now, you set up a meeting with her tonight. You wait for her to show. Now, if we time this right, the cops will catch her in the act. The act of what? Killing me? Now, relax, okay? We're gonna be there to pull you out, all right? Now, the most important thing is the cops find the murder weapon. Are you sure it will be the same one? She's a serial killer. She's not gonna change her pattern. Well, I just don't want to become a part of her pattern tonight. This is crazy. And... My mother gave birth to an ignorant child. What am I doing? So you don't want to get Cantos off, huh? Too bad what happened after that. It isn't my concern what happens after. Oh, damn, that's gold. I like that. See, it's like I was telling my first lawyer. I'm a businessman. Some 13-year-old one take a crack dive that's personal for her, but it's business for me. I'm just protecting my business. Who knows? Maybe after you get me off, I can do the same thing for you. It all depends on what happens after. And then she smiles and says, it all depends on what happens after. And she chilled me to my bones. I'm serious, this girl's really bugging out. I, I thought she was just gonna dig my grave right there at the bar. Did you set the time up for tonight? Yeah, tonight in the alley. I said I had some more information on my case that I could only give it to her tonight. Good. We're on. We're on? No, 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 no. I'm on. Me, alone, solo, Gibbs. No. We're on. One more. Then we can see where else we can be of use. See, there's some brothers in here now. Let on, brother. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> time yet? Almost. We'll let you know when it's time to move into the alley. She doesn't show up in about 15 minutes. We are going to have to post bail on Gibson. If she doesn't show, we're going to have a bigger problem than that to deal with. Oh, 
Oh, Nikki. Signal Gibbs. Gotcha. Oh. you chicken we've got to wait for her to show first gibbs the cops will be there has nikki ever been wrong yet Look. listen to this all units, all units. location has been changed on bus at 11th and main please proceed to new location repeat what did location i just hear new location what about my location man 11th and main remember me down there. gibbsy get the hell out of there oh, oh, oh i'm gone i'm moving i'm out of here you ain't gotta tell me twice Gibbs. Gibbsy. Moon, what's going on? Nikki, we got a problem. Look, I know you hear this a lot, but I swear, I am really not who you think I am. Shut up. No cops. Of course. I said shut up. You're my last in this city. It's quite an honor. I am really not worthy. I am not worthy. You know, we should go and get a cup of cappuccino, and I can give you the names of some people who are worthy. You're all the same. Brad Blake was trying to tell me something. Brad Blake was the same. You weren't responsible, Christina. Neither were the people that you murdered. Stay back! Christina. Marshall? I know about everything. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're a judge. You let us get away with it. The system doesn't work, Marshall. It needs me. No, it doesn't need this. Listen, there are other ways. Just listen to me now. Christina, give me your gun. We'll talk about it. You and I will sit down. We'll, we'll talk about it about the system. Just stop. There's nothing to talk about. I lost everything! I know. I can help you. Listen to me. You can't live with this kind of justice, Christine. Nobody can. Looks like the night watchmen are off the hook. I don't feel off the hook. <laughs> she wasn't you. She wasn't us. She was a little too damn close, though. Nick, listen to me. The basic fact here is we never crossed the line that she crossed. Maybe not. But Christina Forbes was victimized by the same system I was. I know how she felt. But, Nick, there's a big difference between knowing what she felt and feeling what she felt. You're different, man. I mean, you have a plan, you have a reason, and, and we signed on. I don't have a problem with that. Neither do I. None of us would be here if we did. Well, I guess I don't have a problem with it either. Just as long as we stay on our side of the line. And as long as we do. I'll always believe that justice can find its way in the dark. <laughs> 